Hi, class. I'm going to work out some of these problems on the uh, review for you. This is number 17, and it asks you to use the fundamental theorem of line integrals to evaluate this integral where this is the vector field, and the contour that we're going to traverse is uh, this line segment from P to Q here, where P and Q are given by those coordinates. So in using the fundamental theorem, what that says is that uh, the integral over the contour of this vector field, uh, if this vector field happens to be the gradient of some function, then <coughs> evaluating this integral amounts to simply just finding out what that function is whose gradient is this vector field, and then plugging in these points. So it'll be f of q minus f of p. So the calculation of the integral uh, boils down to just plugging in a few points once you have uh, figured out what this f is. So that's our task. We have to find out what this f is so that when I take the gradient of it, I get this uh, vector field. Now, if this vector field is the gradient, then that means that this term right here is the partial derivative, the first partial derivative with respect to x, and this piece right here is the partial derivative with respect to y. So let's uh, get started. That's, I must have that fx is equal to xy squared, and I must have that fy is equal to x squared y. Now my goal is to find out what this f is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a first guess. I'm going to say, well, if, if this came from taking the partial derivative with respect to x, then I can integrate with respect to x and find out what, uh, get a good guess for f. So when I integrate this, I get f, uh, I'm doing this with respect to x, so I get x squared over 2 here, x squared, I have to keep the y squared. So that's my first guess at f. Now, if I were to take the derivative with respect to x, I'd get that. But I could have also had a whole function of y here, because let's say this was sine of y. If I took the derivative with respect to x, this would just disappear, and I'd still get that. So I have to allow for the fact that there might be a whole function here that is uh, in y. So this is my first guess for the function f that I'm looking for. Now what I do is, I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to y and compare it to this, because that's what I know the derivative with respect to y has to be. So f being this, that implies that fy would have to be uh, x squared y plus g prime of y. I've just taken the derivative of this with respect to y, which brings a 2 out in front. They cancel. I get that. And then I took the derivative of this with respect to y, which gives me g prime of y. Now. If this, this is one version of fy, and this is another version of fy, and so they must be equal if everything's going to work out. So that allows me to then find out what g prime of y is. That's equal to 0, because these two things conveniently cancel. OK, so now I can find out what this g of y is. Remember, my first guess was this is f plus this g of y, so I want to find out what g of y is. So I can integrate here g of y is equal to a constant, so that when I go g prime, I get 0. So then that tells me that f is equal to x squared, y squared over 2, plus uh, a constant. So that's the f that I'm looking for. Now, <coughs> my task is to uh, compute this integral, and that amounts to just plugging those points in. Do that. The integral of f dot dr, that I, that's what I want to do, this is equal to the gradient of f dot dr, which is uh, f of q minus f of p. f of q is 3, 1. f of p is 1, negative 1. So this is equal to uh, 9 halves minus 1 half, which is 4.